Our referee for this bout is Chris Romulo. You got the rule. Protect yourself at all times. Listen for my commands. All right, keep it clean. Watch your hands, okay? You can touch gloves, bring it back to the corner. Here we go, folks. Professional Muay Thai action. Warriors Cup world title on the line. Dimitri Barats out of the red corner. Stevan Warren out of the blue. Five three-minute rounds scheduled here at Warriors Cup 62. Liam Tarrant, Malcolm Hill, and LG Pinnell joining you here. And here we go. The 147-pound world title on the line. Barats out of the red corner. Warren out of the blue. Both of these fighters with an immense amount of experience. Nice teep. Sends Warren back. Nice inside kick for Warren, but Barats is popping those jabs out there. Barats going to the body there. Warren with the Superman shot doesn't quite land it. Barats responding. Not landing either. Red is doing a great job poking and prodding, looking for openings. Because when the arsenal opens up, right? You poke openings here, drop his elbows down. Okay, hands down, I can follow up with this X combination, right? The, the things that you've trained for and you've done a million times over that you can pull from, from, from the brain whenever you need to, to work. So everybody right now is just kind of like figuring out what can he do. That's a strong position. You don't want to be in those positions at all, man. Cross face in the first round. Very strong clinch there early on. You can tell the chess match is going on right now. Yep. Muay Thai is a chess match with immediate and violent consequences. Yep. This is that next level up. He, he's, he's, he's trying to roundhouse kick the side. That pawing is going to get him in trouble. And there could be no better third man in the ring than Chris Mr. Classic Romulo. Yeah. High kick for Warren. Spinning shot from Barats. Yep. He, and and the, the point to know about spinning shots, too, is when you throw, he threw a body hook and then hit the same spot with a side kick. Right? So yeah. Three punches solidly get in there. Yeah, is it, he's about, he, he might try to finish this. Not everything's strong. Every, when you get to that level, everything's about tempo. Soft, 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 bam. Soft, you can't fall for that stuff. You got to stay on top of it. To the clinch they go with 10 seconds left in this first round. Strong, strong lock. Long guard there from Barats. That'll be the end of the first round. We go into the second here. Oh, what a high, high level of fight IQ going on right now. Um, yeah, I think Wu has a lot of uh, surprising shots. I think he's very calm, which is what you have to be. But it's, it's like, you know, you can tell that he's poking and prodding and looking for opportunities to open you up. You gotta stay steady, you gotta stay disciplined. Don't, don't, you know, don't give him any sights. The smallest opening, both of these guys are so, yeah. so high level and so skilled. You don't wanna leave anything to chance. Uh, competition experience, you're talking about 200 plus competitions in this sport. Yeah. There's, there's, there's Every single opportunity you see, you, you already got a game plan for. You're thinking way ahead. Yeah, they've seen a lot of different looks out there, a lot of different fighters. I mean, we went down the list of legends they fought. Yeah, the Somrock, cool. who was my favorite fighter of all time. Antoine Pinto, Kem Sitso Pinong, that was for Warren. Bardas fighting Boakow, Kem, Pakorn, Rungravi, Andy House, and Damian Trainer. I mean, these are a who's who of the Muay Thai world. Yeah, he's, this man's got a scroll of people he's fought. Here you go, second of five scheduled three minute rounds. Marat's in the red, Warren in the blue. Primo fight wear on both. And similar to our last fight, you know, Rex is coming in with a lot of uh, sports, you know, like varied sports that he's, he's fought in. So, very active guy. Good kick. 
Okay. Nice the blues evasion. opening up a little bit more. Nice dump from Ross. Yep. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Wow, solid shot. Yeah, that was a good step over. He stepped over through that rear uppercut. All these shots are happening so fast with the back and forth. Yeah, blue, blue switch to stands probably trying to look for something, but Varex didn't really fall for any of that. And this is a side kick. Nice hook coming Ooh, over, goes pull, for the good, elbow. Good pull, though. He saw the danger. Good pull. That time he went with the kick instead of the elbow. Yep. There. Ooh. Wow, solid shot from Warren Lands. Yeah, it hit the back of his shoulder, but that threat is still, still there. Double jab. Yeah, those, it's like the, those long Cuban style jabs. They're not really meant to like go through your skull. They're just supposed to hit you in your eyes and make you blink a little bit so you can get that next shot in. Yeah, when there's a fist in your face, it's hard to see what's coming next. Right, it doesn't always have, yeah, you don't even have to punch straight through the skull yet. Very, very effective, especially when you're fast. You have that kickboxing sound to kind of, you know, pace to you, and you're able to pull that through. Ooh wee. Solid knee there for Ross. Got a very dominant all, position. Yeah, those slap knees are very investment. One minute left in the second round. Blue switch to stance again. Yeah, he was, yeah, there we go. He's back there. What the hell? That, right was, a, that was a deep sweep. Very he got, slick. He was touching the other guy's pinky toe. <laughs> the other side. Yeah. That was way in there. Right. I, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was surprised by how deep he got into this. <laughs> nice double jab from Brats. He catches the kick. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Yeah, he, he sees what he's aiming for. I feel like you got you to gotta pump sometimes. Blue's daring him to come in. Wow. <laughs> Spinned yeah. and then changed his mind, went into a punch. Yep. Ended up in the clinch. Very. You know, Ross, I feel like he shows a lot of balance as well. I mean, obviously, there's a level they're going to, but yeah, it's amazing when you see some of the things they pull off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's so bouncy, though. You don't know when he's going to strike. Yeah, and, and, um, and you, you know, like, uh, with a bouncy fighter like that, they're very explosive. So they bop, 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 boom, and they launch. You know, so in order, I mean, when you're dealing with bouncy fighters, the best thing to do is actually to readjust your position so that it's very difficult to, you know, pin you down. Because mm -hmm. a bouncy fighter with, the, with, you know, going straight on, very, very, very hard to block somebody who's got a lot of that explosiveness. But you take a move over here, you limit where they can hit you from. If okay. I move to your left, you can swing only with your left, like a lunging hook, you know? Okay. But in this instance, like, he's kind of content, okay. you know, essentially. You can't just let him bounce and move and, and faint and start twitching. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, because that bounce, is, that linear strength, and that speed can go right at you, man. Mm. It also just makes you have to guess when to defend yourself. You yeah. don't know which one to fight on to mm. start your So third round. I know both of them have, have fought Thai um, and been to Thailand, so this is usually the pickup round. Third of a scheduled five three-minute rounds yeah, here at Warriors Cup. Again. Yeah, I think he's trying to eliminate that that power side. Ooh wee! Nice upper shot there. Yeah, Doesn't quite land. Yeah, he kept his guard up after all the shots. That's pro for you. Marin jabbing, just missing that. Ross ends that comment, that exchange with a right to the head. Nice. He's got a good. Blue's got a great position now in the clinch. Let's see how he can work off of it. Okay. Nice low kick there for Brock. Oof. A little side kick to the knee. Let, let me tell you, man, when you get caught up in these positions where somebody's forearm in your face in a pro nice. setting and then you get dumped onto your, yeah, this, it's not a good position to be in. You're getting your neck cranked, you know, you got a forearm on your face. It also Warren. makes the knees hurt more when your ribs are spread apart because your arms are raised up in the air. Right. right. Keep 
coming from Warren to the thigh. Oh, nice Goes to the knee. Doesn't, yeah. Knee to the body. Yeah, see his head, see it's not just arms, it's his head positioning. And look how he's able to, he doesn't need to put his hands around his waist to, to, to break his posture. He has, see that cross face? Mm -hmm. Just hold him there and crank his head out. Yeah, it's, it's rough in there, man. You gotta. That is it. He tried a hook elbow and I, he got stuck. A little body shot, trying to drop the elbows down and maybe he can go upstairs. Definitely an uncomfortable looking position that he ends up in. Nice right hand by Verratz. Yeah, look at his head positioning right now. That's the head position you want. You want to make it under his jaw and his neck, make it really difficult for him to, to, to regain his posture. Kick gets caught, Verratz answering back. Yeah, he caught him with that lead side. And, yep. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left in the third round. round. If the clinch is going to be broken up uh, quickly, always end with a strong position. Mm. Nice right got elbow. Of, yeah, Blue got out of there. Just, yeah. just missed. His sense of danger is really good. Well, You've got to imagine after, a, with a 76 and 37 record, he has really got a ability in there we can see that on display from Stavone Warren right that's a good kick one step one strike homie <laughs> this man was about to take him back to the corner end of the third fourth round coming up now into the championship rounds for this Warriors Cup World Welterweight title so wow yeah this is this is a tough fight so far for blue I think uh Red's doing a good job just be you know not doing more than he has to. Mm. A lot of times people feel dominant and they rush, and then you know you can tell Blue's looking for him to make that rush statement, but he's not. He's not doing too much. Kick his shots, brick by brick, break him down, and if it takes until the end of the fight, then fine. You know, but he's not going to rush in and, and, and give himself into the quick jabs and kicks, and then once he's able to parry that foot, that hand down, he comes in with those elbows. But Blue does a good job of trying to mitigate a lot of that by repositioning as well. You know, so it's like a lot of this chess match active chess match, always looking for the way to, 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 to end the fight, but it's not always going to be easy when you have two experienced fighters. We enter the championship rounds here of this chess match. Three minutes on the clock for Rots in the red corner. Warren out of the blue corner. Warriors Cup 62. Main event for the world title. Nice teeth to the face by Rots. Good kick. Good kick again. Oh. Got him in the face. Caught him with his hands down. On the on the break as we were just coming out of that exchange, right up and lightning fast caught. He caught. He he recognized it immediately when he put his foot down. That's why you, when your your stance is so important when you when you practice and you fight because when you do those things and you put yourself in a good position to strike again, that's the result. Able to fire off right away. Immediately and saw his hands were down and said, "Let me shoot this shot real quick." Good kick. Warren throwing keeps down and to the body. Ooh, good, good, good. Seems like Barat's trying to line up a real power shot here now. Strong hook comes in. Yeah, good guard. He sees it, he sees it coming, but like, it's going to open up everything else now. Nice low kick. It looked like it might have affected the left leg a bit. Good stuff again, but those, it's still just getting roughed up. He's going to cross those hard up still. Oh, okay. Both of these guys, wily veterans. Yep. 130 remaining in the fourth. Shot to the body, jumping knee comes in. And Dimitri Verrat. Yeah, see how he locks him down immediately and then works on scoring? Head position is good, base is good. Not, not doing a lot of hand fighting, just kind of getting in, digging in, and going to work. Well, because he's starting the clinch with a strong position. Mm -hmm. He's not he's not getting in and finding a way mm -hmm. to lock up. He's already he's putting himself in a position that he lands with a good lock, and all he has to do is work and score. Hook followed by a right elbow. Yeah, when you, when you feel weakness, you stick to it. It's hard to work in the clinch when you're looking up at the ceiling tiles. Yeah. yeah. The lights on the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. And he's doing a good job of forcing Stavone's position into Always. You're looking at the floor, looking at the ceiling, just like you said. 
Ooh, that was a sneaky nice. kick underneath the elbow. Very slick. Yeah, he's wearing him out right now. Yep, yep, oh, yep. I think that might have been that body shot. Yeah, no, 100%. It was definitely the kick to the teeth. And again, Rex is doing it brick by brick. He's not doing more than what he has to. He's, is this going to be ended? No, oh, Stavone Warren seems like he's up. He's ready to go again. Yeah, he's got 10 seconds. 10 seconds left in this fourth round. Will he get out? Yep, he's sneaking those out. He's like, you know, he's, he's going for the right. See, he's not headhunting. Right. He's not headhunting until he, he sees he has opportunity for it. He's just going to hit the body and wear it out. Stavone's body is hurt. You can see that right elbow hugging really tied up against the good team. Right. Beautiful dump there. And if you hit the body, the head's going to open up anyway. That's where that big hook Yeah, See that? It didn't hit. Red right. didn't have to hit it. But the threat is there. So now you got to choose. The damage to the body, wear me out, drop me, or you're gonna, or you're gonna protect your head and, and prevent the knockout, right? So you're making it a real tough gamble there. Yeah, correct. That so when you, that's why versatility and, and changing levels on strikes is very important. You gotta defend your legs, your body, and your head. And so Rex is, is just brick by brick again. Everything, you're just picking this off, picking this off, making you choose which one is the lesser of two of you. Let's see if uh, Stavone Warren, with his experience, can figure out a counter strategy here in this fifth and final round for this Warriors yeah. Cup World Title. Let's see. Uh, he doesn't have a really good demeanor right now. No, I think he got saved by the bell uh, coming out of that fourth round. Right. I don't know if this is enough to recover. Here we go, fifth and final round coming up here. Warriors Cup 62. Dimitri Varats out of the red corner. Stavone Warren out of the blue. Liam Tarrant, Malcolm Hill, and LG okay. Pennell joining you here. Is he going for tempo or is he just going to carry into the fight? Nice switching kick from Barats. He might be trying to close the show here. What do you think, Malcolm? Uh, well, let's find out. Because right now he's got a slower tempo, so I think he's going to change tempo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, switch yeah, he's styling on him. Yeah, he's styling on him. Nice elbow to the head. Another yeah. elbow lands. Go high, go high, go high, and then he's going to go right back low again with some body shots. Seems like he's just trying to line these things up. And the shots he lands are very hard. See, that's what I'm saying. He enters the clinch with the lock already in place. Bam. Ooh, he's solid. Yep, bam. Yep. He's to the body, body, to the head. Let's see. LG, what do you think? Is he going to make this count? I don't know if he'll make the count, but even if he does, I'm, I think this He's not getting up. Out. He's done. That is going to be the fight. Dimitri Varats wins in front of a very appreciative crowd and he comes over to check on his opponent former opponent now yeah. steve owen warren and a great show of respect and sportsmanship between these two warriors and this crowd has erupted for dimitri Varats. very impressive oh my god extremely impressive for both sides hey, well, right now we just see the crowd all <laughs> over our process everybody's standing ovation people just standing on their chairs with their phones out. i see a lot of blue it's like a sea of blue over here on the first floor. Belarus is very happy tonight with its son here taking away a victory and another world title to add to its collection at Warriors Cup 62. Wow. And uh, Stavon Warren is being attended to by his corner. He looks like he's okay, though. Well, yeah, this room is on its, its feet. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, I understand it. You know, it's like you're disappointed more than you are physically hurt. And... These are one of those things that like you mentioned in the earlier part of the show is how you come back. How do you bounce back? How does that light a fire in you? Right. right. Well, folks, we want to thank you for tuning in here to Warriors Cup 62. You can follow us at Warriors Cup underscore three PP. You can follow me at Liam Talks Fights. You can follow Malcolm at Smooth underscore MT. And you can follow LG at LG dot Penel P A double N E double L. Our next event, folks, August 16th. We will be back here at the Melrose Ballroom. We are already we are already lining up fights for that. I saw some of the matchups. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be a huge, huge event. That's going to be a little cliffhanger for you, folks. Do tell. I do not have it directly in front of me, and I was sworn to secrecy. Oh, no. And, you know, it was a, it was a pleasure to see both of them fight at such a high level. Like huge high level Muay Thai here. And we will go to Ariel Agami for the official announcement.
these professionals giving it all they had. Your winner by fifth round knockout from Grodna, Belarus, presenting the Eight Limbs Academy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now the new 